Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is November 20th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the jet stream out here across the Pacific Ocean. You can also see the storm system driving down towards California right now. Kind of a splitting system yet again here, bringing some precipitation across some portions of the Pacific Northwest. We'll show you the latest on that here more in a moment, and then we'll look at the systems yet to come as we go towards this upcoming weekend and on in through next week as well, and on in towards the Thanksgiving Day time period. So it's Taking a look at about 30,000 feet up in the atmosphere jet stream time. You can see that system moving down across western Oregon into California there. And then that persistent jet stream is going to be pointed at western British Columbia, bringing a weak atmospheric river with it. It's going to take some time, but eventually we'll kick a system across the region here, bringing more precipitation for western Washington, western Oregon. The initial stage of that jet stream will be kind of impacting British Columbia initially. And then we're going to have some additional systems after that as you continue to see the jet stream pointed at the Pacific Northwest here as we go on in through portions up next week. So if we take a look at integrated vapor transport, and if I scroll through here, you'll see that weak atmospheric river pointed at British Columbia there. And then eventually we're going to have the slow pressure system kind of move through. It'll bring some blustery conditions as we go on in towards this weekend and finally kick a frontal system through as we go through the day on Sunday. And then additional storm systems after that trying to point at the Pacific Northwest as well as an active jet stream continues so looking at what is going on here is go where we are right about now here this morning you can see just maybe some light precipitation out there for some locations a little bit of mountain snow not amounting to much a lot of that energy down into california there but then the next system already gearing up here as we go through tonight into western british columbia it starts to slowly try to slide down there but it's it's weakening a bit as it does so initially anyway but you can see that persistent precipitation across western bc atmospheric river characteristic there as we go through the day on saturday and finally that frontal system starts to kick through as we go on and through sunday morning there's sunday late morning and then we go through Sunday afternoon there and you can see that frontal system kind of swinging across the area. And then another round of some active weather probably coming as we go on in through next Tuesday. You see that next system kind of rolling in here. Almost looks like it has a bit of an atmospheric river characteristic as well. And then another low pressure system approaches from the southwest. Now taking a look at snow depth change in inches. Uh, with this system rolling in here today, again, generally very light amounts across the Cascades of Washington, Oregon. A little bit better here across British Columbia as we go on in through this weekend. You can see this coming across over the Rocky Mountains there too. A few inches for the North Cascades as we go through the day on Sunday. And then we squall off in towards next week. A little bit of a chillier system rolling through here as we go on in towards what Monday night into Tuesday morning. Could bring some lower elevation snow into portions of eastern Washington. Better amounts across the Washington Cascades here. And of course in some of the interior of BC. Some of the Rocky Mountains of Idaho and Montana. Some of extreme Northeast Oregon. Not even extreme Northeast Oregon. Just Northeast Oregon and some of the higher terrain of Oregon could get a few inches there also. Now, taking a look here, uh, first things first, Portland, Oregon, National Weather Service, beach hazard statements. This goes all the way up and down the Washington coastline. There's still a high surf advisory for portions of uh, southwest Oregon. You can see large breaking waves, 20 to 23 feet. This goes through 4 a.m. on Friday morning. So do not turn your back on the ocean. You guys know the trail. Here's winter travel at times next week. This is Spokane National Weather Service. They do mention this as well. Uh, first lowland snow of the season possible late Tuesday or Wednesday. Low confidence right now makes sense. It's still a ways off into the forecast. And look at this down here. I think somebody needs to update the time, March 11th, 2023. But this forecast, trust me, does apply. You can see when November 24th through 30th, Monday through uh, uh, the upcoming Sunday at the end of the month of November. But you can see some of these snow levels falling towards uh, 1,000 feet there maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll be watching that system here over the next couple of days. And chance of 24-hour snowfall greater than 2 inches. You can see some of the mountain passes getting some snowfall again. And that's kind of correlating there, right, with that Thanksgiving time period there as well so we have to watch out for that now idaho panhandle western montana also again kind of mentioning that system monday into tuesday over 24th through 25th valley impacts potential 2,000 feet snow showers monday night into tuesday and again we'll be watching that system closely so looking at the two meter temperature anomaly here a little bit of chatter that we're going to get cooler than normal it's not that much though you can see as we go through monday night into tuesday we do cool down a bit but it doesn't even last that long as we go on in through tuesday night into wednesday you can see kind of bouncing back rather quickly as a lot of that cool air stays east of the rocky mountains scroll far enough off in the forecast and you can see no cold air around in the meantime a little bit of something showing up into the first week of december i'll show you more on that here in a moment but again 
way far off in the forecast. Now, daily two meter max temperature, if we scroll through the next few days, are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. When you see us going to next week, though, you can see a little bit of that chillier air kind of making its way in. Spokane kind of cools down some highs in the 30s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And again, not you're not going to feel much of a difference there for Seattle. Maybe a little bit chillier. Same thing for Portland as well. And you can kind of see the Rockies cool down a little bit also. But now looking off in the extended forecast a little bit here is the artificial intelligence. We're looking at about 5,000 feet or 850 millibars up in the atmosphere. And if we put this into motion, you can see some of that cooler air arriving again as we go through the early portion of next week. Again, the bulk of that cold air stays east of the Rocky Mountains. You can clearly see the terrain feature that is the Rocky Mountains there and the warmer air to the west of them. We'll scroll farther out into the forecast and something right at the end of the run has been showing up here a little bit. And you can kind of see that cooler air trying to drop down into British Columbia as we go a little bit further off in towards December. But again, we'll be watching that here over the next few days. Maybe that ridge will back up far enough would allow some cooler air to try to get down into the Pacific Northwest, but by no means is this any kind of a, you know, any, no promises, let's just put it that way. Now we take a look at the artificial intelligence ensemble mean at 5,000 feet as well. Again, there's the initial shot stays mainly east of the Rockies. We scroll off into the extended forecast here first week of December, and you can see some of that cooler air trying to build up there across Northwest Canada, but again, no big signal right now. Now, if we look at the European ensemble mean, the regular European versus the GFS, the global forecast system ensemble mean, but we're going to go way off into the forecast again here as well. And you can kind of see that cold air keeping east of the Rocky Mountains on both the GFS and the European model. The GFS has been a little bit chillier here, it tries to bank it right up across the Cascade not the Cascades, the Rocky Mountains of Alberta, right up against the Rockies. See a little bit chillier air into British Columbia there as well. We scroll farther off in the forecast and you can see some of that cooler air across Northwest Montana. But again, no big signal. That ridge still not far enough away as we go through the first week of December. So we need some changes to occur before we have any chance of Arctic air getting back down into the Pacific Northwest. And if we look at the extended models here, this European extended. So there's that initial shot of some colder air. We go on in through the month of December. And the the thing about this is that you can see this cooler air hanging around as we go through portions of the month of December. So we're probably going to have some additional chances at some cooler air at times as we go through the month of December, maybe on in through January at some point as well. It's something we'll be watching. You'll have plenty of heads up on that. So it's no reason to get too excited about this just yet. And if we look at this, this the ridge heights is in the same time period. You can see if we go far enough out, you kind of see it shows some ab above normal ridging out here south of the Aleutians, which could be a precursor to maybe some cooler air moving down but again way too far off in the forecast to worry about you're gonna have plenty of heads up on that now this is something uh released today monthly temperature outlook for december 2025 you can see some of the pacific northwest mainly northern zones here below normal some equal chances for oregon southern idaho as well so again not telling us too much but monthly precipitation totals still got that above normal across a lot of the region here as well again this was just updated here today and this is the seasonal temperature outlook for december january and february i mean it, it's you could have worse for snow low, lowland snow lovers here across the pacific northwest i mean it's got some below normal signal out there so again issued today this goes all the way on into february this is meteorological winter so hopefully there's something to that and get the above normal precipitation signal here for a lot of the region as well and just to remind you that even when you're in the equal chances here the pacific northwest is pretty darn right rainy during this time period anyway so yeah check out the patreon page if you like um what else hope you guys are having a good day We'll do this all again tomorrow. We'll break things down. We'll look at the extended forecast. We'll check out these storm systems. We'll look at what kind of precipitation amounts they may bring. We'll keep watching the mountain snow and maybe some cooler air trying to get in here for a few days as we go through next week. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next forecast.